Hey there, awesome coder. And you might be thinking you are pro now. Yes, you are definitely. You are just still with me in the course and you are trying to write some awesome Firebase code. That makes you a pro, pro coder there. Now let's handle our to-do, uh, which is handle the login promise. And handling the login promise should not be a big deal. Uh, okay, that should be pretty easy. Now the first thing that we'll be doing is, uh, let me just show you what the concept that we are trying to build up in here is, uh, simply we are gonna just, uh, as soon as the user log in, uh, he should be seeing the logout button. Uh, by the default, he should not be able to see the logout button. Okay, makes sense. And in the button, uh, uh, let's just do a quick ID there. First of all, ID is gonna be equal to logout, okay and it's gonna have a class name as well and the class name is gonna be simply hide and as i save this uh notice our application refresh and our hide button our logout button is gone that is because because in the app.css i have given a class dot hide that says display colon none so it's not displayed by default in in the login as soon as the user login we want him to show up the logout button okay makes sense uh, otherwise why should he actually be seeing a logout button if he is not logging so in our to do there we go in our to do let's handle the promise and uh, what we should we can do a lot of fancy stuff in here but right now i just want to do so let's just remove this to do and make sure that you are catching the then promise before the dot catch okay that that is important so promise dot then and we are handling in here okay and obviously it gives us a user back which again uh, gets a tons of information that we previously have obviously the user's emails and everything you can just verify it again by using a console log uh, I won't be doing it again because we have done quite a lot of console log, quite a lot. And I'll be creating a variable L out. And the reason why I'm creating a variable is uh, to get this object or to get this element that is log out. And I'll be getting it by uh, simply our old method of the JavaScript. I know there are better methods in the React, but let's just be plain old basics in here. Dot get element by ID and that is going to be taking logout okay so now we have an access to that element i just want to remove a class from there that is hide so i'll be simply saying l out dot class list and dot remove and uh, hide now some of you might be getting a confusion that hey uh, there is something wrong going on because because we are saying classless because uh, that is an old method using the JavaScript and in here we are saying this as a class name. Now let me tell you this is not actually a plain HTML. This is a JSX which is eventually is going to render into simply the class. This is our convention in here but actually on the web page it just goes there. And uh, this is a plain vanilla JavaScript that we have written in here which is always going to work so no big deal there. Now we have already got a user and it's a good time to test the things and we are gonna just simply log in with that user if i remember that password that was i guess super at the rate superman.com that is our user and password was i guess super cool i i'm not pretty sure i forgot that uh let's click uh we could have actually given a, a login message to the user as well if we are successfully able to log in uh let's just log in there and there we go we are seeing a log out there quickly so that is a kind of a, a message for us that yes we are successfully able to log in now here's a quick to do for you uh, simply you have to simply write write a welcome message for user and make sure you are printing out his email as well so that is good so looks good so far now, since we have a lot of time, we can work out a little bit on the logout method as well. In the logout, what we'll be doing is uh, something like thanks for using our application and we'll be hiding the logout button as well as soon as somebody clicks on that. Again, we will be querying to the Firebase. We'll be making sure we are logging out from the system. Okay, makes sense. Now let's go there 
and let me just copy this on click method and paste it in here okay and this is not gonna be sign up this is obviously gonna be log out I will be copying this you know the drill this is pretty easy for you by far now this dot logout is gonna be this dot logout dot bind and this there we go makes sense and now what we'll be doing we'll be creating a logout method yep and obviously a good idea would be check out where our sign up ends there we go here it ends and i'll be creating a this no not a this dot logout just simply a logout and there we go there we go so we have done it we can now save it it's not gonna yell us yell at us looks good and uh, this is gonna be a pretty simple drill in here to log out and you might be thinking hey this is just a breeze so we are gonna say firebase dot auth obviously we are not working in the database we are working in the auth now and all you have to do is simply sign out make sure the o is capital there otherwise it's not gonna work it's gonna yell us yell at us so there we go and we are also gonna do one more thing basically just exactly the same thing that we have done above there we go we can copy this and we can paste it here paste that so basically we are selecting uh, the logout element and instead of removing this hide uh, class we are gonna just add this class uh, so that it's again hidden i hope you got the concept pretty easy and right now still our application is not logged in so we'll be logging it in and doing a quick job there now obviously your to do is uh, to write a simple uh, thanks message in here so again pretty easy let me just quickly give you a quick hint or a complete way to path you have to set uh, the error message and you have to somehow set the state uh, I don't know how you do that but make sure you do it and let's create another uh, super one uh, at the rate superman.com and I'm not a big DC fan but somehow Superman came to my mind I I'm a Marvel fan okay don't judge me and it's again gonna have a password of super cool let's just quickly do a sign up and there we go we have signed in it says uh, welcome super one and we are still not logged in that's a good thing and let's just do a quick login and uh, there we go our logout button is there that's good and we can simply do a logout and there we go our logout button is gone okay and uh, there are a lot of things in the firebase that you can do and in fact i would highly recommend you to go and look out into the database uh, there is a lot of things like authenticate the user or get the state of the user whether he's logged in or not and there are tons of things that you can do in fact i do recommend everybody uh, to check out the things like what is a snapshot uh, the by the way the user that we are getting is actually the data snapshot and uh, uh, look out into the documentation that's number one way to learn uh, look out drill down deep into the database auth, and this is a fantastic app that we have built up in here very cool very precise very concise does the job and now even you can merge the application like the previous project that we have built up uh, you can call a method that can uh, write some things or can call a component in here just uh, just print out a component or set a variable to some component name and it's going to display the component in here and then we can load up or just move the user to the next page or something like that so it makes much more sense i guess and uh, firebase is one of my favorite things to do in here again i would highly recommend that you check out this do this project if you are able to do this project upload it to github and show to the potential employee i'm pretty sure he's going to be impressed with this kind of app Okay, with this, uh, this was a lovely project and I'm enjoying quite a lot with this series so far and surely I'll catch you up in the next video.